So here is how to create token avatar for free, but I won't be showing you that myself because I'm going to be introducing my own token avatar to take you some weight. Let me show you how she was able to make me talk. And I know what you're hearing now sounds like her voice, but that's because I borrowed her voice. But let's not focus on her voice. Let me go ahead to show you how she made me talk. So here's what happened. We want to help you start up your content creation journey. So we decided to show you how to create your own avatar if you don't want to show your face. So the first thing is to get your image ready and here is how you can do it. So you want to head over to ChatGPT or Gemini, any AI tool that you normally use. And so you're going to ask it to write an image prompt for you using this instance that I gave here. Write an image prompt for a 3D female character. She's Nigerian in her early 20s. She should sit over a desk in a modern office. Now, this is just an instance. I said 3D female character. You could choose male character or you could remove 3D and say hyper-realistic female character or hyper-realistic male character. She is Nigerian. You can choose any country of your choice and, of course, any age of your choice. You can also change the environment if you don't want her in a modern office or him in a modern office and probably any other thing you want your image to have. Once that is done, you're going to tap on this enter and let chat GPT or any AI tool that you're using to generate the image prompt for you. And so we have the image prompts. You want to read through and make sure it's exactly what you want. So I'm going to highlight this prompt from here and copy it. I'm going to head over to an image generation tool. You can use any image generation tool of your choice. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Google Image FX. If you follow me, you know that I talk a lot about Google Image FX. You could go to Google and type Google Image FX. It's going to get you right to this AI tool. This is an image that's already generated. You saw the video of the guy. So I'm going to paste this prompt right here. And then I'm going to head over to settings and make sure that it is on the aspect ratio that I really want to use. If you're going to be posting these on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels, you want to select portrait. If you're posting it on probably YouTube long form video, you want to select landscape. So I'm going to leave it on landscape and then I'm going to return and tap on create. I'm going to wait for Google image effects to generate the image. Now that our image is ready, the next thing is to choose the one that we like. So you want to check them properly and choose the one that you like. If you don't like it, you can always regenerate until you get what you really like. So I'm just going to download this one just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to tap on that download icon and download it. Now that your image is ready, the next thing is to get the video ready. And this is how to create it. For the video, we are going to be using one and you can visit one.video. If you follow me, this is not the first time I am talking about one video. It gives you ability to create unlimited videos for free, but you can subscribe if you want a faster generation. If you are on the free plan, it's going to be a bit slow because you're going to be on queue. But if you subscribe, it's going to be faster. I'm using the free plan to show you how to create this. So you want to come over to this box right here and where you see avatar, you want to tap on it. You might see video if you're visiting one for the first time. If you choose video beside it, you're going to see different options, either to do image to video, text to video, effects, extend, and all these options. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be choosing avatar. And beside avatar, you could decide to create your video with an already generated audio that you have recorded somewhere, or you want to create the audio right here but I'm going to be choosing photo animate. And right here, you're going to choose the image that you want. This is the image I've used before. So I'm going to delete this one. And this is the video reference that I used to create a video. So you're going to upload your image right here. And here is where you upload action video. This could be a video of you talking. So it's going to use the voice and the reactions that you make on the video to eventually make the image talk and react the way you react on your video. So I'm going to tap here and choose upload from device to upload the image that we created using Google image FX. So I'm going to upload the image right now. Now I've uploaded the image. If I tap 
on standard, I can choose between pro or standard, but I'm going to leave it on pro. And then right here, you want to choose if you want to generate with credit, it's going to be faster, but I don't even have enough credit to generate it. So you're just going to tap here and it will start generating. Now, now I'm going to return here and show you the option for speech to video. You can upload your character here and then where they says speech to audio, you want to tap on it. I'm going to delete this one that I already have. If you tap on it, you choose to either upload a voice that you already recorded on your phone or you generate the voice right here. If you tap on generation, you're going to type in the text that you want to generate. So let's say for instance, how are you doing today? And so you're going to choose the voice from here. This is another interesting theoretical point, but probably of little consequence. This is another interesting theoretical point, but probably of little consequence as far as error correction is concerned. So once you choose your voice, you want to tap on next. Now it has generated the voice. You want to play it and make sure that it sounds the way you want. And if it does, you can tap on confirm. For this, you can only upload or create audio that is from one second up to 15 seconds. So once that is confirmed, tap on confirm, and then you can tap on this icon right here to proceed with the generation. So when it's done generating, this is just a sample of the video I generated here. You already saw it on this video. You're going to tap on this download icon to download the video to your device. It's going to download with watermark, which is going to be placed right at the bottom here. And that is because you are on the free plan. On the pro plan, it is without watermark. But I don't know, if you have the money, you can subscribe. If you don't, you can go ahead and download with the watermark. If you found this video helpful, please drop a comment, like this video. And if you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Thank you.